Hi, today we're going to be looking at breaking down the Jackson 5 song, I Want You Back. This is what we're going for. Okay, so the song itself is broken down into three sections. You've got a riff, a verse, and a chorus. And what I'm going to do is refer to each part as a riff or a chord progression. The original song's actually, I believe, in the key of G major. But we've actually transposed this down to E major just to make it a bit easier on the old vocals. So first, let's have a look at the first riff section. The riff section appears at the very beginning of the song and in the interlude or the bridge between the chorus and the verse and it's ultimately where the title of the song comes in, the I want you back. The riff itself is just the root chord, so in our case now it's E major and then on the fourth beat of the bar we've got a major third. So I'm going to call this the E riff. Also throughout this tutorial you'll see I won't be playing the full chords even though I will describe to you what they are. I'm actually going to minimise my finger movement and often play power chords because there's so many chord changes and they do happen really quickly. Instead of trying to change positions and play the full chords I'm actually just going to minimise the finger movement and you'll see why. Okay so the initial E riff it's just So beach drum it's And that brings us on to the verse. In fact, the verse and chorus are split into two halves. The cool thing, however, is that once you've learned the second half of the verse, you already know the second half of the chorus. Speaking of which, with the E riff, we've actually already learned one quarter of the verse, because the first quarter of the verse is actually the E riff, and then it just goes up to the A, and does exactly the same thing, which I'm going to call the A riff. So really slow, it's one, two, three. I actually generally play this to a tempo of 98 beats per minute. And now we have to learn the second half of the verse, which is the second half of the chorus. And this begins with C sharp minor, which I'm going to refer to as the C sharp riff. It's C sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, E, F sharp minor, B, E, A, E. So in terms of the timing, it's quite short. Unlike the others where they vamp on the same chord, you're pretty much are changing chords every other beat. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. And again slow. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. So up to speed. The C sharp riff. Okay, so really slowly, the whole verse all the way through. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three,
Hebrew. Amen. C sharp rhythm. Okay, now we've got the final bit, which is just the chorus. The first half of the chorus, in terms of chords, are quite simple because it just goes from E major to A major to B major. However, we do play some subtle differences. To be true to the original recording, we actually are introducing the walking bass line, which is the E, D sharp, C sharp, B during the E chord. And because of that, we're now going to move the E major, the E chord, all the way up to the 7th fret, playing across the A. So you've got that power chord. And now using the index finger, from that E, you're then moving it down to the D. If we move that down to C sharp, then B. Each time strumming and keeping the rest of the power chord going. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, G and E. And then for additional harmonic interest, I actually play A sus 2. Keeping that B ringing. And then for the B itself, keeping the harmonic interest, I'm actually just sliding the two fingers up. So I'm not actually playing the root note of the B. So slowly putting them both together, it's. Okay, so bass line riff. With the beach drum. Okay, so let's put both sections together because now we're just going to add the second half back in. Okay, so the full thing up to speed. Beginning. Verse, E riff. E riff, C sharp riff. And there you have it. That is the Jackson 5 I Want You Back in a Nutshell. I hope you enjoyed that lesson and I'll see you next time. Take care. Can say how the day will all unfold Can change what the future may hold But I want you in it every hour, every minute Cause all